Welcome back. We have another day. Town Hall 10. Me, you're truly defending against a Town Hall 11. What in the world? How is this even possible? Let's break it down. Let me find it here. Where is it? Where is it? Um, let's see. Right there. Number 16 for 16 stars. Now, yes, he doesn't have max uh, heroes, but neither do I. And he has a Grand Warden. But he does have max ground troops. Uh, no golem, uh, but using giants. But still, giants are very effective against just as much as effective as the golem uh, the reason is those single target infernos or the multi-target lock on to the dra uh, to the giant so he's actually creating a nice funnel as you can tell on either end but what happens is that southern compartment he does not clear that out uh, and because of that his valkyries when he drops his valkyries they will drop so i love this base design uh because one uh, yes you lose a lot of uh, resources but if you're not able to funnel properly, as he did here, what is going to happen is all those units are going to circle my base, and he is going to get the big fat fail. Or if he does get it, he usually gets 1%, so you only lose a couple trophies at that. Uh, so I'm going to actually be doing a number of... Uh, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you some more Town Hall 10 and why you should, what base design you should use for Town Hall 10 with the new updates, the bowlers and the Valkyries, how you should defend against it. So be sure to check that out. Here, I just wanted to bring you this amazing defense against the Town Hall 11. Oh yes, must use that base. Uh, the base wins here and there, I give you that. It doesn't always win, but here's another attack I win against. This again is max troops, uh, but not max heroes. About similar heroes as mine, the queen is way less, but uh, still, with the Max Golems and the Pekkas, you know, this is hard to defend against. Uh, especially, it's easy to get that one star. Again, I'm showing you this kind of circle base. Again, I've, I, I did a video called Protecting Your Dark Elixir using this base. Uh, you can put the Dark Elixir in this core of the base, and it really does a good job of keeping uh, those pesky attackers from stealing your dark elixir which is very important the big thing in this base make sure your single target infernos are set to single because if they're set to multi they're not going to do as much damage as you can tell he has to use a lot of free spells to make sure those single targets don't take out his queen his king or those pekkas so very important here i had only giants in the clan castle at that i mean giants don't do anything and they're not even maxed uh, some of them aren't and some are so there you go successful defense two successful defenses for some valuable trophies on the defensive end uh and let's see of course i did get three star there from a maxed um town hall uh so let's see let me show you this three star now this is what happens of course he knows what he's doing it's a queen walk this base is definitely susceptible to the queen walk and he funnels very nicely here. So this is how you actually take down the base. I never said this was an unstoppable base. No base is unstoppable. But he does a nice job with creating the funnel for his Valkyries. He's got some giants and wizards on one end and the queen on the other. And what happens is he dro drops in his king to create more of that funnel. What happens is the Valkyries are going to path directly to the core of the base. And once they do that, it's over. You cannot have the Valkyries go to the core or <laughs> will be over look very patient on the valkyries there's nothing but to go to the center he's going to take out both inferno towers and the, all those expos all at once and so what that leaves is guys is total destruction of my base the queen healer combination i just don't have the defensives left to deal with her so this is how you three star this base if you're wondering superman did a good job i give him credit i lost a lot of resources lots of trophies and that's how it happens using the valkyrie strategy he didn't even have a good golem in the clan castle so you don't always need a golem in that clan castle and let's see let me point out some other attacks here a number of losses for sure i did change up the base design some of these losses all aren't on the same base design i've switched it up trying to figure out what the best base is at that uh, let's shuffle down here what do we have <laughs> uh, let's see do, 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 do. Uh, let's do a last replay here is a 97 percent this is a town hall 11 I thought this was a great defense on my part max town hall 11 and he only gets one star I mean come on he actually's trying the same thing as the other person funneling from either side but the difference here is he drops 
His Valkyrie's just, I guess, a tad too early. Look at that. They go to the gold storage, and then they're going to shift. A number of them are going to shift to the other gold storage. So a little bit too early on the Valkyries. And luckily, the Valkyries actually passed back towards that king, if you notice. The king was on the outside, passed back. And so this is what happens. The clan castle is on the other side. Just some wizards and uh, archers, so not the best clan castle for sure. Uh, but what happens is, look at that, that single target Inferno Tower is still up. And because it's still up, it's going to take out the Grand Warden, his uh, ability, uh, and also I think going to lock on the King. If not the Queen, going to take out some Valkyries. So, because of that single target Inferno is still up, he cannot get that 3 star attack on me. Going to speed it up really quickly. So, try out this base design. Again, check out my other video coming up soon. I'm going to do another one. It's going to be amazing talking about defense and what type of base to use specifically um, when you're looking to defend in the new update 2016 clash of clans there you go guys thanks again for watching i appreciate it if i haven't uh, let you know i am on patreon uh if you want to help continue these videos uh please do here's a scout view of my base if you're curious what it looks like take a picture of that and you will have it for the future guys thanks again for watching please subscribe please share this video and as always we will see you next time. Halo.